You guys, I don't know if you're ready to experience my chaos that is packing, but here we go. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be doing the long awaited pack with me for Disney. Actually, we're ac actually, we're actually, that's good. Actually, we are going to Florida, like in general, and we're going to Disney for two days. The rest of the days, um, we are doing like beaches, activities, things like that. We're staying with my uh, grandparents. So we will kind of be like going around and doing things with them. But um, I just wanted to do this like super informal, like I'm literally sitting on my bedroom floor and packing, getting ready to go to Disney. Okay, guys, I as I'm going through this video, I am going to be including tips and tricks um, that I have picked up and like learned from reading, not kidding you, probably like 50 blogs as to like what to bring to Disney when you have small children. I feel like it's always going to be some kind of a process when you're going to Disney with kids, but especially with small kids um, <laughs> who have like the patience of a gnat and it lasts for like mm, 20 seconds. This is the most informal video, like informal, formal video that I've ever done for you guys. Um, but you know me, I'm all about keeping it real. It is like, and plus I get like mm, two hours of daylight here in Minnesota because the sun sets at like three o'clock. So, and I'm not gonna be dragging my big like camera lights to go through this. So bear with me on the lighting. I know that's annoying to hear, but um, I've been, but it is what it is. Okay, let's hop into it. Tips and tricks and all of the things and all the fun things. I, when I was planning Disney, I, I honestly, you guys, I probably planned Disney for like mm, a good like two days straight <laughs> um, between purchasing the tickets and planning out the days there because you have to plan your days at Disney. There's just so much to see and do and you don't want to pack too much in and like writing it down on a, like a loose schedule. Um, just it, it shows you what you're actually able to do and I'm such a planner I'm like such a type A person like kinda but like when it comes to Disney stuff you have to be organized and so I feel like I have executed this fairly well I'm feeling fairly confident I'm already like looking around in here and seeing that Kaya has likely taken out a few things but we're gonna roll with it <laughs> um, First and foremost, we are gonna start with the Disney stuff um, that I have packed. So I, again, have two small children that I am bringing with me to Disney and I need all of the snacks, all of the distractions, like everything to make their day because it is going to be a full day. And I know that I'm pushing it by planning a full day, two full days in a row. But if I have these things with me, it will make the experience more comfortable. I purchased a double stroller, which I will leave a picture here for you guys. Um, it's kind of why I'm sitting off to the side in the video, so because I'm gonna have like pictures of things here for you. Um, I have a double stroller, and I got the Juvie something whatever double stroller. It was fairly inexpensive. I actually found it secondhand um, locally to my area, and I got it. Like this lady used it one time and it wasn't the color I wanted like I wanted a black one and this one was like a bright cherry red but in all honesty I'm, I'm not gonna be using my stroller a ton like we aren't big big stroller people we usually just like Kaya just like run around and do her thing but Disney we needed a stroller um, this stroller brand new on Amazon is like $129 I'll have it linked down below for you guys Again, I purchased mine secondhand because I knew the stroller that I was wanting and I was watching the Facebook like buy sell that marketplace like page thing and I miraculously came across one again in cherry red but I got it for 50 bucks. Such a steal and it's in like brand new condition. Um, so anyways, that's the stroller I'll be bringing with us to Disney and kind of piggybacking off of the stroller. Um, I purchased a rain cover. Um, I will have this link down below for you guys as well, but I think this was like maybe $15 on Amazon. Um, you never know when you're going to get rain and there's a possibility for rain most of the days that we're there, even if it's like mostly sunny. I feel like Orlando gets like crazy random showers um, just because it's so like muggy there um, during the summertime, etc. Just 
it's not summertime I know that but I know that Orlando gets a lot of like random showers so anyways I just want to be caught like in the middle of a rain shower and my kids being soaking wet so I'm bringing this stroller cover with for the double stroller okay so still going with the stroller theme all right so I found on Pinterest like tons of blogs my favorite, my go-to for like Disney stuff is um, Bits of Brie, Brianna K here on YouTube has a Talk Disney to Me Instagram um, and I've been following that as of lately just because um, she's going to Disney and since I'm going to Disney I am just taking in all of the tips. But one tip in particular that I found like with small children and if you're bringing a stroller, like in Disney there is like seas of strollers. So I decided to purchase a stroller tag. Um, if you guys are not familiar like with like the seas of strollers and whatnot, um, I will insert a picture here for you guys. It is really hard to like pick out your stroller, especially because at the time I was gonna be purchasing an all black stroller. And I feel like 95% of the moms out there have all black or all gray strollers. So looking for your stroller that is all black in the sea of strollers is going to be impossible and the workers will move them around too. Um, like if you're inside and eating or if you're on a ride, like they possibly could move them. So A, to make it find it easy, a, to make it easier to find, you need to um, like get a balloon or just something that's gonna make it stand out. So we plan to get like a balloon so that we can immediately pick it out in the crowd, maybe pick a color that most people don't choose. I don't know because <laughs> if everybody in that Sea Life strollers also has balloons on their strollers, then it's not so helpful. But in addition to that, I purchased, I got this off of Etsy and I will have the listing link down below. Um, I got this, let's see if we can get it to focus. I got this super cute, stroller like name tag it says Walt Disney World the violin family again I got this off of Etsy I had this custom made for a stroller um, and to match our stroller I got the red and gold I thought that this would be so cute and like would match so well um, the gal actually sent me two of them which I thought was so sweet she sent me like a because I ordered gold so she sent me like a shiny gold and then a matte gold so I might put this on um, like one of the kids car seats or I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet but anyway um, I thought it was really sweet that she sent me two of them so um, I think that this is going to be such a cute little addition like just for pictures and stuff I don't know like I'm all about if you're going to Disney like make it a whole experience so I got these stroller tags and I thought Seriously, this is probably one of my favorite things that I purchased. So, highly recommend this Etsy shop. And I thought that they were super affordable. I think I spent like $15 with shipping on um, this little tag. But it's like like a vinyl, like a pleathery vinyl. Um, not like a, I don't know how to explain it, but it's well made <laughs> and it's like sewn on there. I don't know how she does it, but I am not, a, also, I'm not a sewer person. So, I don't really know but I thought it was super cute she did such a great job um, so we will be putting this on the stroller and just like hangs on the handle you tie it so it came with I purchased it with the ribbon so it'll like tie onto the stroller like this and we'll make it just a little bit easier for us to spot our specific stroller um, just in case maybe somebody else has the exact same stroller as us um, this would also like distinguish which one is ours um, anyway so great buy on Etsy. I also was like super inspired on um, Etsy and um, in Instagram and Pinterest like all the things. I found like the cutest little girl outfits. The cutest little girl outfits. But they were like $70 a piece and I just wanted to try and be conscious of our budget like a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. A lot of it. I was really trying because I know once we get there I want to just be able to like let them do whatever they want. I don't want to have to worry like about like spending and all of this stuff. So I tried to cut it down a little bit more when it came to like outfits and packing. So I'm going to start with Kaya's stuff. Um, I We're going to go to Disney for two days like I said. The first day that we're going, we are going to Animal Kingdom. Um, and we're also going to um, Hollywood Studios because Kaya is four and a half. And, a, like, and Riker's just kind of there for the ride. This is a lot of this is for Kaya because um, she's at this like really special magical age where everything is very real to her. Um, so we're more so going for like that character experience, just like the experience itself and not necessarily just like the rides and stuff. So um, we're going to Hollywood Studios in the morning 
We're doing a half day there because there's like shows and things like that that we're going to hit up like the Disney Junior Dance Party um, I planned and then immediately following that we have like just enough time to get over to um, the Frozen sing-along over in um, I think it's like Echo Lake in Hollywood Studios and then we have fast passes etc in the afternoon at Animal Kingdom so um, in Hollywood Studios they also have the Galaxy's Edge like Star Wars um, place now so I am really hoping that we can at least like just take a stroll through there maybe as soon as we get there that's what we'll do before we go to like the dance parties but and I'm telling you this because it kind of goes with the theme of the kids' outfits so first day that we go to Disney again Animal Kingdom Hollywood Studios so for Kaya's outfit I have this cute little shirt um, which I had made for her um, and it says walking on the wild side and it's just like a cute just like a black tee this might be a little big for her but if it is I can just kind of tie it up um, and then she will be wearing these shorts with it um, it says like this was an outfit that I was like inspired by on on Etsy and I thought it was so cute but it was $70 and I could not swing $70 um, I already had these shorts on hand from another um, from another whatever you call it um, another outfit and I'm hoping that it'll be warm enough that day for her to wear shorts but um, I already had these shorts on hand so it worked out really nicely so that is the outfit for day one um, and then she also has we found these Minnie Mouse ears now they are I've heard anywhere from 20 to 50 dollars in Disney World for the really nice mini ears and Mickey ears um, you guys I found these at Target for five dollars on clearance five dollars these unicorn like cute like I don't know they're almost like mermaid colors to me they're like green and purple and they're shiny and I thought this was so sweet um anyways I was gonna have her wear this and this together for the first day I'm sure she'll just wear this for like a couple of pictures but regardless five dollars versus forty <laughs> thought it was a great deal so that's outfit number one for the day um and then for Kaya on day two um, that is our magic kingdom day so I wanted to go with something that was a little bit more traditional Disney so for day two I got her this my first trip to Disney shirt how sweet is that again like if it is a little big I'll just kind of tie it up in the front kind of like what I do with my own shirts if they're like a little baggy um, and then I got her these sequence shorts now these are really good quality I got these off of Amazon um, and like the inside is not sequins so this isn't gonna like rub against her legs all day I am gonna bring um, like pants or leggings with for both days as well for her just in case it gets a little chilly we get a little rain shower whatever whatever can happen and you just need to be prepared or if there's an accident because as you guys know with littles there's bound to be accidents so um, Anyways, I got these off of Amazon, I think, for $13. So this is the outfit for day two at Magic Kingdom. And then she just has some really traditional um, mini ears to go with this outfit. Um, I got a two-pack of these. Now, these aren't, like, super thick like the Target ones, but these will do the trick. Um, they are sparkly still. They're super cute. I got a two-pack for $6 off of Amazon. Like, guys, you can't go wrong with that. So I have those ready to go and I could even wear one like these would also fit me and then me and Kaya can have like a super cute like matching picture together um whether it be like at the very beginning of the day or just like when we're pausing for a second like who am I kidding we're not gonna pause at all but um anyway that's what I got for Kaya I thought it was just the cutest outfit like this all goes together so well and I think that it's going to be just such a fun experience like the outfit everything it's just gonna be such a magical experience for her to like get dressed up and know that she's going to Disney World I'm gonna cry the whole time I've already cried like several times getting ready for this trip um, just because I'm so excited for Kaya to experience it I've never been myself but I just know that it is going to be absolutely magical for her um, yeah hands down like one of the best feelings in the world like knowing that I'm able to 
I'm blessed enough to be able to bring my kids to Disney and not just once but like we'll be going several times over their childhood it's just I love it I'm so excited okay sorry I had to go and help the kids for a second Mike snapping on the couch of course so um, I brought a couple of pairs of shoes with um, I just purchased these from Target um, I thought the pink would go nice with other outfits too I know that it doesn't like perfectly match um, her Disney outfits but that's okay um, these are a little bit big for her though I think these were like $9.99 um, these are the Cat and Jack brand from Target I'll leave a link down below for you guys um, but I measured her feet because she's been going through so many growth spurs lately and like she's been growing out of shoes like crazy so I finally had her like step on one of those like feet mats things or whatever at Target kind of gross I know like I always get germs but um, but she was an 11, so I got her an 11, and they're too big. So, I don't know what to do. I think I'm just gonna have her either wear socks with these, or I have a backup pair here. These are kind of beat up, but um, these are some of my favorite shoes that I got for her. These are Amazon. They look very similar in style to the Cat and Jack ones, and I think these were maybe like $13, but I'll link these down below. The reason why I purchased another pair was A, I thought these were too small for her, and B, like the inside is missing from one of them, and when you're walking all day at Disney, you have to make sure that you have comfortable shoes, because your shoes, your feet are gonna get tired, or um, it's gonna lead to blisters, and then it leads to tantrums, and Kaya's just like a melter downer. She just like will melt down. So we're trying to avoid the meltdowns. Um, and then, Rolling on the Disney stuff. Um, I'm gonna show you my stuff next. Riker's stuff is stuffed in Mike's suitcase, so we're gonna do that last. But Riker completely tore apart my side of the suitcase earlier today, so that's nice. Um, I just going to show you guys my shirt. Got this shirt for myself. Um, it's like the friend style, the one where they go to Disney. I thought it was so cute, and I'm gonna wear this probably. I don't know. I'm like contemplating both days. We'll see how it goes, but I got this for myself, and then I also got like some gold ears. I thought that would be so cute for like a um, for like a picture with the kids, like standing in front of the castle or like whatever, wherever we may be, Pandora. I don't know. I just thought it would be the cutest picture. I'm not gonna wear these all day, but for a cute photo op and for like five dollars on Amazon, heck yeah! Again, link down below. Why spend forty dollars on ears when you can? get them for super cheap on Amazon and literally they look the exact same so sorry switched angles um, the next thing that I am going to talk about is Riker stuff um, and Mike stuff now Mike is not like dressing special for Disney or anything like that but he did pack um, like an item I guess I should say just like one piece one item that we are specifically using for Disney now I don't know if you guys know this but this is a tip that I found we are staying off resort um, Disney because we're not going to Disney the entire time that we are in Florida so for the two days that we're in Disney we chose for breakfast and lunch we will not be like eating in the park or like we won't be eating the park food I should say we're gonna be bringing our own food and our own drinks I was not aware that you could do this until somebody who used to work there tipped me off and said hey just so you know, you can bring like your own like food and drinks and whatever. Um, anyway, so I am bringing my own food and drinks for breakfast and lunch. We're still going to get like snacks and like treats and things like that, like ice cream cones and whatever. Um, and then we do have dining reservations both days as well. Um, in Animal Kingdom, um, it was going to be like our day got swapped like we were gonna do evening time in Hollywood Studios But because of the fast passes and the fast pass arrangement like what they had available for, for the rides we wanted to hit up with the kids um, We ended up having to do the evening in Animal Kingdom instead And there's no fireworks in Animal Kingdom either. So um, we are going to the Rainforest Cafe in Animal Kingdom I think the Rainforest Cafe, I mean, I, I know it's not like the highest rated, but it is such a fun atmosphere for the kids and I'm super excited to bring them there. Leave a comment down below if you have any like good experiences with the Rainforest Cafe in Animal Kingdom at Disney World because I'm, I've been looking forward to this because I just feel like even if the food is crappy, like the kids are just going to be so like enthralled with that atmosphere getting like small kids to sit down at a restaurant is near impossible like my kids anyways are very like they need to be moving all the time 
they're playing in the room next to me and they're playing with like the door stop so that's what you're hearing but they just like don't sit still so just anything to keep them entertained etc is great um now the second day we will be in magic kingdom and i got reservations for i think it's like the canteen something blah blah i don't know it was like food wise rated number one um i really wanted to of course like try to get into um what is it like the beauty and the beast one um or what's the other one there's a couple of other ones that i really wanted to get into but this was the number one rated for food and i booked our dining reservations like mm, probably six plus months in advance before we had even purchased our disney tickets we had our flight tickets but we didn't have our disney world park tickets yet so anyways i made dining reservations way ahead of time so i was lucky enough to get those two things or to get those two dining reservations but during the day for like food and things like that um i will be using this cooler now this cooler fits perfectly i mean this bad boy is huge um we have rikers clothes in here right now because we're trying to pack smart <laughs> mike has this cooler and all of rikers clothes in here um and then on the top part this is where we'll keep all of our drinks is like on the top and then we have like a little ice cooler thingy in here too um, to like keep everything cold. We'll probably have to get one more now that I'm thinking about it, but this is just like my, my Medela one. <laughs> um, but we're gonna keep our drinks in here, so I'm gonna bring my big like Yeti water bottle with me. We'll keep that in here, maybe have some like juice boxes in here for the kids. Just things to like, so we don't have to be stopping and purchasing in like five, six, seven dollar water bottles all the time. Another tip that I learned from like other people that have done that have done gone to Disney is that if you go to Starbucks at Disney and you also order a venti ice water, they will not charge you for the venti ice water versus like if you go to like a million other places, they will charge you for ice water. Um, and if you bring your water bottle to Starbucks and like ask them to fill it if you're purchasing a coffee They will fill that as well now I'm not sure if that's hundred percent true or if they just like had a happy worker that day I'm not sure but regardless if you get a venti ice water like a cup of ice water you can refill your water bottle You're good to go um, So that's what I plan to do for like my big like Yeti water bottle mug thing that I have so that the kids do not get thirsty and they do not get hangry. I will have snacks on hand. So um, breakfast, we will probably eat like at the camper because we're staying with my grandparents and like this, I'll show you guys this when I get there, but it's like this beautiful, luxurious camper. The camper literally has a guest room and has like massage, leather reclining chairs with heated heating and cooling and like a fireplace and a pop-up TV. It is nuts, but anyway, so we're staying in a camper, but um, I will probably have us eat breakfast really quick in the camper before we go and then um, once we get to Disney like we should be fine for the morning I I will probably skip breakfast because I've been um, fasting until probably yeah. closer to dinner time. <sighs> kids are getting crazy um, but anyways um, for lunchtime I'm gonna be packing like sandwiches and chips and then I'll have like fruit snacks and just like apple chips all the whatever things in here all the snacks in here to avoid getting hangry but of course we'll also be getting some fun treats and snacks while we're there okay so for the first day I plan to put him in this outfit now I'm probably gonna be packing pants with for him as well I have shorts and like pants for both outfits it's mostly just like the shirts that are the most important um, I since we're going to um, Hollywood Studios the first day I have him wearing this born a rebel um, cute little um, Star Wars shirt and I got this from Target I thought this was so cute I got a 12 month in this which I think is the smallest you can purchase in this um, t-shirt so I'm really excited that he's in a 12 month so I'm gonna be having him wear this and then I just got him like the cutest like comfiest little shorts to go with um, each outfit for Disney and like for Florida in general and I got those from Target as well these are just like gray like comfy shorts there's like a thread on here um just like gray comfy shorts and then i'll probably pack similar pants like long pants as well so that is for day one um i am bringing like a cute little trucker hat i might buy him a little hat in disney too um but i'm just bringing how cute is this whoa how cute is this like little bro hat this little trucker hat um so he will be wearing this hat and mostly just because he's like he has blonde hair and he's like not a lot of blonde hair so he's just kind of like this bald blondy little baby 
and I don't want his head to get sunburned um, if he's like out and exposed and like running around or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna hopefully get him to wear this hat or get him like a cute little Disney hat. And that's what he'll wear for day one. Um, I do have sandals and shoes packed for him. Um, I've got, I got these cute camo little like flip flops from um, Target. These were $10 I think from Target. Super cute, super cheap. And then I also am packing with his little, um, his little chucks. He got chucks for Christmas. I think that these are so cute. And I thought this would just be the sweetest little outfit. Um, yeah, absolutely love those little chucks. And then the second day when we are at, um, what's it called? When we are at Magic Kingdom, I got him just like a very traditional Mickey shirt. I also found this at Target. Both of these shirts, I want to say, were less than $10. I want to say they were $8.99. And I got them on sale because they were having like some kind of clothing sale at the time. So 12 months, $8.99. I love this. Like, I'm not into like the overly, like, I don't know how to explain it, like overly cartoony looking Disney stuff. Um, I love like, more of like the like, like retro or like the sketched look or um, like the vintagey look um, or like for for Kaya I was gonna do dresses for her from Taylor Joel uh, which I, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not very good at pronouncing things so um, I'll leave a link for her little Disney dresses down below as well but um, anyways this is what I packed for him $8.99 I thought it was such a good deal and then again I got him um, just like the same material shorts but I got him in like a khaki color um, I think that these are perfect for like little diaper butts like the the fit of these how sweet are these I love these um, so this will be his outfit for the second day at Magic Kingdom um, and then he will also wear this hat the hat matches it's pretty close anyways um, again otherwise I'll find him like a little hat at Disney just like the cutest little bro hat for shoes then again like for the second day I'll probably have him wear these chucks for most of the time but because um, I think it might be it's like 70 ish when we're there um, in Disney so it might be a little chilly for the flippy floppies but um, I will also be packing with the kids' swimsuits. I forgot to show you Kaya's, but um, I'll also be packing with swimsuits just in case, like for some reason, it gets like overly hot and um, they have like a splash pad type of thing in Magic Kingdom. So, Riker's swimsuit while we're there. I did purchase him a, what is the brand? Charlie Banana. I knew this is like a brand that's been around forever, I feel like, um, for reusable diapers, but I got him a reusable swim diaper just because I was trying to like lessen the amount of packing and the things that we have to buy once we get there like once we get there on Thursday morning I'm just packing enough diapers to last us like through our flight and through the next morning um, and then we're staying right across the street from a Target and we're gonna be there for a whole week so I'm sending Mike to Target across the street to go buy things like diapers and then like his last can of formula honestly that will be probably his last thing of formula that we ever have to buy for him um, so I am just going to send my to go get those types of things that I know are only going to last us about a week and there's no sense in me packing and bringing that stuff when I can literally run to Target and get exactly the amount that I need for the week and then like not worry about worrying about like having to like bring it back and forth you know just taking up suitcase room and weight and whatever so on that note, <laughs> reusable diaper for the swimming, um, for the beach, etc. Um, this is like a really nice material. I want to say this was about ten dollars on tar at Target. I'll have again everything will be linked down below for you guys. Um, and then there is like a little drawstring on here as well if um, you need to adjust the waist on it. Um, and I just got a color that kind of matched his um, his swim outfit. So these cute little swim trunks I got from. Target and um, he I got him a 12 month which he will be 12 months in like two weeks from tomorrow so I got him these swim trunks and then I got him a rash guard top now Kaya's swimsuit is very similar um, and she has I like the rash guards because then it like prevents sunburn you don't have to put sunblock in as many places um, or like as heavy as sunblock in, in, in like those places I do always put sunblock underneath because I'm a crazy mom but that's just me um, and again like with the hat um, 
that's why I have a hat with because people are like, oh, why are you bringing like a hat for him? Again, because I don't want him to sunburn his little head because he's like blondy, bald little baby. So, anyways, got the like rash guard top for him. Kaya's is that mermaid one. I'm sure you guys have seen it on my Instagram before um, or in some of my other summer videos, but it's just like a long sleeve like mermaid swimsuit. Um, it's super cute. It says mermaid across the front. It was at Target last summer, and I feel like a lot of people purchased that swimsuit, but. Anyways, that is a swimsuit I will pack for her. And I think that is everything that I packed for Disney. If you guys want to see some of the other outfits that I pack for the kids, make sure that you are following me on Instagram because when this video goes live, we are in Florida currently. And I will make sure that I have everything linked in my Like to Know It app um, for the kids' outfits while we're on vacation. Um, I just don't have enough time in this video to cover that for you. And I feel like a part two to a packing video is like a little ridiculous. So I am gonna wrap up this video with giving you just like a couple more like tips and tricks and things that I've learned about Disney. So um, first and foremost, just make sure that you have, um, if you're bringing food out from outside and like drinks from outside that you make sure that you bring a cooler um, and make sure you bring enough so that your kids stay hydrated and fed all day because from what I've read and knowing my kids as well, some of the biggest reasons for tantrums is because they are hungry, because they're thirsty, or because they're tired. So also make sure that they have a nice place to sit or rest or nap or whatever it may be. We will be bringing some blanket, we'll bring like one or two like smaller blankets with us like rolled up and one towel for them to share just in case. And it's likely going to be Kaya that wants to go into like the splash pad if it's warmer. Um, but just making sure that we have those things so that they have easy access to like having a comfy place for napping um, in the stroller is like where we plan to have them rest and nap. Um, and then that way we have food and water and juice on us at all times to just make sure that they're always fed and they're they're not going to complain about being thirsty, etc. Um, Another interesting tip that I learned, and I don't know if it'll necessarily work for my kids, it may work for your kids, but it's not going to work for mine, um, is there is so many different trinkets and toys and fun things to buy for your kids in Disney, and it can be overwhelming, and Kaya, I know, is like definitely going to be begging for everything under the sun. Mom, can I have that? I want that. I can. I'm gonna... And she's just going to like, bah, explode. But um, somebody said that if you bring like your own like Minnie and Mickey toys or like their favorite Disney toys and bring those with you into the park, that it is that that could help um, lessen the tantrums and the begging and things like that because they already have their own toy. Again, Kaya is not like that. Kaya is like she would just whatever toy she brought with her that day, she would like throw toss out to be roadkill and would go and beg for another toy. But. It might work for your child, and if it does, that's great. Um, other things that I read, um, like I said, just like the stroller thing is very important because there's like lots of um, there's lots of strollers in Disney. And another thing too that I did not know about at all prior to like researching is they have a rider swap. So if you're going with small kids and um, say part of your party doesn't want to go on a ride or they can't go on a ride because they're just not tall enough, like they don't, like your child doesn't meet the like height restriction or whatever it may be, you can do a rider swap. Um, if I have time, I might do this for Mike and I to go on Space Mountain. I have been to Disneyland um, numerous times, but um, I've never been to Disney World and Mike's never been to either one. So I was trying to like explain to him how cool Space Mountain was, like Space Mountain is my, as an adult, is like one of my favorite rides. That and Pirates of the Caribbean was my favorite. Those are my favorite rides in Disneyland. Um, and I wanted Mike to experience those. I think Pirates of the Caribbean will probably be a little too scary for the kids. But for Mike and I, I think we're gonna try to do Space Mountain and we can do the rider swap. So Mike can stand in line or um, we can both have a fast pass for it or whatever it may be. Um, Mike can stand in line, go on the ride, and then instead of me having to wait in line all over again, I can just, I get to immediately fast pass it and go up to the front of the line and then go as if I were standing like right next to him, right? Because um, they understand that a lot of parents are going with and there's 
you know, large groups of people where maybe some people don't want to go on that same ride, etc. But I thought that was really cool so that you don't have to like both stand in line for the entire time. And then you can go on like other rides with the kids who maybe are too small to like go on those rides that you want to go on. So that's another trick that or another tip that I learned. Um, also, make sure that you are booking out your dining reservations. For example, like if you can book out your dining reservations up to a year in advance and next time to make sure that I get into the restaurants I want to get into. I mean, I got into great ones this time. I'm not complaining whatsoever. I think I really lucked out and I did book them, like I said, six months in advance. But if you want to do like Be Our Guest, the Beauty and the Ble Be Beauty and the Beast, <laughs> Beauty and the Beast one, um, and that one does book out like a year ahead of time. So my advice to you guys is if you know that you're going, if you know you're planning a trip and you know exactly when you're going to be going, even if you haven't booked your flight tickets yet, get on there and make your dining reservations. Like there's, I think you put your card number in there to hold it, but if you cancel it ahead of time, like it doesn't charge you. So it doesn't, it does no harm to make those dining reservations. I think that is going to cover it for my Disney tips and tricks. Um, I decided just now I want to toss in one other thing. Um, so the last thing I want to talk about is traveling with kids um, and um, like bringing activities with, like getting on the airplane, things like that. Um, so, <laughs> also we have fast pass bands. We've got the fast pass like wristbands. Um, I have one, Kaya has one, and Mike has one. I have a blue one, Kaya has a pink one, and Mike has a navy one. Um, and we got those. I know we're not staying on. Um, on the resort, we're not saying on resort, but I heard that you still are going to want those because it just makes it so much easier and you're not having to like finagle, like and get like these cards out of your wallet, like every time you're doing your fast pass or whatever it may be. So, um, I got us the bracelets and plus it's just like a part of the experience. So, um, got those for like 15, $20 a piece ish, I think, um, off of the Disney store and I already linked those with our tickets. So we're good to go there, and those are in Mike's backpack. Speaking of backpacks, that's what we're swapping into right now. Just really quick before I end this video, I know this is really long, but I've tried to pack as much like, as much like tips and tricks into this video for you. I've done so much research, like so much research, and I just wanna pass that research on to you guys because I wish I would've seen a video like this beforehand with like just everything all in one place for like traveling with small children going to Disney. I couldn't find anything out there, so. I have a backpack for Kaya. She will be wearing this as her personal item when we're flying. We are flying Frontier there and we're flying Spirit back. So they are cheaper airlines. If I had the choice, I would have done Delta. Um, I, I prefer Delta, but I was on a budget because I was trying to make, you know, I was trying to get us like go for like as long as possible. So we're flying the cheaper airlines and that's totally fine. But with that said, we can only take one personal item each. I have a diaper bag that I'm going to be using. I can have a diaper bag and a personal item because I'm flying with kids. I can bring both car seats with me um, to check on for free. You can check, even though Riker is a lap infant, I can still check a um, car seat for him for free according to the airline guidelines. And also make sure that you're checking with your um, with your airline specifically. Um, I did very extensive research and found that both Frontier and Spirit offer this um, like free checked um, seat, even if it's for a lap infant. I knew for Kaya it wasn't going to be a problem, but for Riker as well, um, that's what I was more so concerned about. So. So car seats, I made sure that I checked those, or I made sure that I could check both of those and I can because as soon as we get to the airport or as soon as like we're leaving, I'm going to need a car seat for both kiddos um, because I am not renting, I am not renting a vehicle right away. My grandma's picking us up. Okay, now for sleeping arrangements for the kids, I wanted to make it as close as possible as it is here for them, right? I wanted to recreate that environment for them when we are down in Florida. And I think that that's really important, to, especially like when you're pushing them, like later nights at Disney, like the two nights we're at Disney, we're gonna be pushing it a little bit later, um, especially the fireworks night. So it is gonna be kind of late. But the other nights, we still wanna try and stick to like that same bedtime and the bedtime routine. So I'm staying with a relative. I'm staying with my grandma and my grandpa. So 
So my experience may a little be a little bit different. So if you're staying at a hotel, you can typically get like pack and play, like will come with the room or whatever it may be. Or um, if you're staying, staying in like an Airbnb, um, people will like rent, um, they'll rent pack and plays or maybe there's a pack and play already there for you. I personally decided um, I actually am Sam Prime shipped a travel crib for Riker. Um, to my grandma. I shipped it directly to my grandma. It was like 60 bucks. It was cheaper than renting one. It was cheaper than anything else I could think of. So I spent the 60 bucks. <laughs> my grandma will bring that travel crib back with her when she comes home. Um, I think she's coming home like end of March or something like that. So my grandma and grandpa will bring that back for me and then we will use that this summer. So I can still use that travel crib in the camper this summer because we have our own camper as well that we go and take out all the time in the summer. So it's a win-win and that's what I did for Riker and he is so much he is definitely a bedtime routine baby I put him to bed between like now I guess I've stretched it out like between seven and eight um, I will put him in his crib and shut the door and he will go to sleep that is how he is he's a really good sleeper and I wanted to recreate that environment for him down there so that's what I did Kaya has like not been a good sleeper ever since she turned two so she will probably stay up with us until like the very last minute so for her I'm not as concerned about like her bedtime routine and like having a place to sleep blah 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 she'll probably sleep sandwich sandwich like right between Mike and I on, on the bed in the guest room so that is what we're doing there for their crib and for their, um, not their crib, for Riker's crib and then for their car seats. So again, like with car seats, you can check them for free. And um, if you don't wanna check your car seats, I believe it's like, if you are renting a vehicle anyways and you're doing more than just Disney, like me, um, it is like $50 a week through Enterprise anyways, it's $50 a week per car seat so that for me was a hundred dollars versus I could bring my car seats and check them for free yes I know it's bulkier and kind of a pain to like lug around but um, we're being dropped off at the airport those go straight to the check-in counter and they were being picked up from the airport and we literally just have to grab them and go straight out the doors with them and the way that we have our suitcases set up too is we'll be able to put the car seat on top and just kind of like strap it around so we can still pull the um, pull the suitcases. So that is the plan, Stan. That's what we have going for us. Um, is there anything else I wanted to cover? I think that is everything that I wanted to cover for you guys. Everything that I was like seeking on the internet and like trying to desperately like put together it was so much planning and like meticulous like okay we're gonna be doing this we're gonna do this i'm gonna need to bring this so many things when you're traveling with small children it is an entirely different world especially when you're finagling with like car seats and you're dealing with tantrums and things like that oh last thing too that i wanted to mention we are doing a nighttime flight our flight to orlando is like we leave here at 706 and we don't land until like after midnight in Orlando. Sorry, Riker is like not having it downstairs right now, but Mike is with them, so don't worry. I ended up getting a carrier. I got the Boba carrier, right? I think that's what it's called, the Boba carrier for Riker. Um, and it is, so for this carrier, you can like put it on your back and then carry him. So like in Disney, we can do that if he gets sick of the stroller. Um, and then for like, in the airplane we're gonna do front facing and just kind of hopefully like have him like lay in there and go to sleep that was my best solution for getting him to sleep on the plane is by me having like a front carrier and just kind of having him on my chest and letting him sleep here and then we plan to like Riker has been sick with as you guys know Riker's been sick he's had like this like chest infection and he's really congested um, his temperature is gone and his congestion is getting better but um, so Riker has been still congested like getting better but he's still congested so I'm worried like about like the takeoff and like the pressure like when you're taking off in the plane so we just are going to make sure that we have like maybe some extra passies on hand and then we're also going to bring with um, obviously bottles but I heard that suction is the best way for kids to avoid like any ear issues I have so much cold medicine with him like all like natural cold medicine and like fix and things like that that I'll be bringing with for him as well um, just in case there's any kind of like lingering congestion I just want him to be as comfortable as possible 
babies getting sick, kids getting sick right before you go on vacation is such a like fork in the plans. So I am dealing with it the best that I can and I'm going to try and like not have him touch anything in the airports so that he doesn't get like some secondary virus or whatever like since his immune system is down. So all the things and all the stress you guys, but I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels this way when they're going on vacation, their kids are getting sick and they're trying to like make sure everything seamlessly ties together everything goes perfectly things like that so I hope that I've put forth the knowledge into the interwebs about everything that I've learned for bringing my kids on their very first vacation I am just going to cry the entire time I am so excited for my kids to experience this especially Kaya I am so excited all right you guys Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I'm going to go deal with the situation downstairs. Riker is freaking out because he's getting his boogers sucked out. He does not enjoy it one bit, you guys. Like, not one single bit. Riker hates getting his boogers sucked out. So, I'm going to go deal with that situation downstairs. I hope you guys enjoyed all of these tips and tricks and the items that I packed. All the things, like I said, this is all the stuff that I was worried about when I was planning this trip. So, I wanted it to all be like in one place for you guys so that if you're doing the same thing as me, you have something to refer to. So, alright you guys, I will see you in a couple days for another really fun video. Okay, bye.